Welcome back to r, &R Lifestyle. Uh, yesterday, we put on a, another brood box on here. We had five of our eight frames, for the most part, filled out. So we were worried that with all the drone cells that we were seeing in the hive, that there was maybe uh, getting ready to do a swarm. So we decided it was time to add this brood box. Um, the uh, Flow Hive brood boxes were all on back order. So we ended up ordering a Man Lake, uh, I think they call this their select cut. Uh, there's no knots in it. Uh, so it's really good lumber. It's not cedar like the bottom hive, but it's pine. We threw some tongue oil on it, put it all together. We actually really like the build of these and it's a great price, $17 for the, for the box. Um, I like the cutting of it, uh, it's very nice. We did go ahead and, and go out and buy some stainless steel screws to make it match like what you get with the Flow Hive system also. And we put a screw in each single one, whereas Flow Hive, uh, I think it was every other one, and it looks like I just noticed we're missing a couple here. So I don't know where those went, if we just never put them in or what, but I don't see them on the other side either. So anyway, but um, so we're gonna open this up because we did get a comment from one of our good friends, uh, Vino Farms up north. Uh, their bee season is just getting ready to get started in that. He's also a flow hive uh, beekeeper, but he's also got some other traditional hives. And uh, he made a comment on one of the uh, uh, abnormalities that we saw on the side of our uh, foundation frames. So we're gonna go ahead and he said, scrape that all off because the bees are doing it wrong. And if you don't scrape that off, they'll just keep making it bigger and bigger and bigger. So today we're gonna come in here and straight uh, scrape that off. I'm, I'm really a little bit afraid about what the bees are gonna do. Uh, I'm afraid that they're gonna actually get a little angry. So we'll see what happens, but I've got my full bee suit on. Rhonda's got her, uh, her just bee jacket and her gloves on. So we're gonna get ready to take this all apart and then uh, we'll scrape that all off and uh, we'll show you a little bit while we're in here. So, uh, we just relit the smoker. The smoker uh, had gone out. So we just relit the smoker. I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this open and uh, we're gonna get down in here. I believe that frame that has that abnormality is on the top. I don't know that we're gonna go down into the bottom brood back brocks today. Uh, just because we were just in there yesterday and we want to give them some time to do their own work in here We're just using this uh, flow hive honey super up top here right now to uh, to go ahead and uh, Feed our bees. We're feeding them a uh, two-part sugar water one uh, uh, Two-part sugar one part water uh, solution right now um, Just to get help them get a good start on this hive I'm sure when I pull this off here, you're gonna see plenty of bees up here. Look at that and uh, they're all up here feeding. And we'll set this back down here by the front of the hive. And they will find their way back in. That is still about half full, that feeder. So it's still got plenty in there. So now a lot of times when you come up here, uh, when I pull this cover off, uh, Vino Farms also suggested to us that a lot of these bees that are doing this wax up at the top on the inside of this cover, just underneath here, those are brand new nurse bees that have just hatched and uh, they don't really know how to fly yet all that well. So he said, don't brush them off and try and get them off this board on the bottom side. He said, just set that out by the front of the hive and uh, let the bees find their way back into the hive from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll lift this up and you're gonna see all kinds of activity look in here. Look at this, this is our upper hive uh, box that we just added and uh, I'm really happy to see all of this activity right here. Um, this is really <laughs> nice to see because we have a bunch of new frames in here, a whole bunch of new frames. So let me see if I can see there. I can already tell you right now that they are uh, building this out because I did not know, but you are supposed to push these things right next to one another here. Otherwise the bees will build these huge wax things up on top here. So let me get this together here. And I have not been keeping these things close enough together is what I was told by Vino Farms. So let's see if we can find that uh, that one that we're looking for here. We're gonna take this frame out right here. Should I go to the other side? No, I'm actually just gonna push this over like this. And I'm gonna lift 
this one up like this. This one I don't expect anything to be on. I just put it in here yesterday, brand new hive um, foundation frame. So I'll set this, this one right over here next to the hive. And I'm gonna set this one here right next to the hive. And boy, look at all the work. They're over here already just kind of scouting this out so it won't be long and they'll be building that frame out. That won't be long. So set that one there. I'm going to lift this one out and you'll be able to see some of what we're seeing in here right now as far as the development of this hive. So this is all going to be brood that I think you're going to see right here. Come up very carefully. Mm -hmm. And is that mostly brood right there? It is. Yeah, you see a lot of brood. You can see a lot of honey all around the brood. Uh, is nothing but honey. <laughs> uh, I'm not seeing the queen up here right now. Uh, but uh, we got a lot of brood. I see a drone cell right there. And uh, that's about it for this one right here. So we're going to put this one back in. What's on your side? I'm nothing. just curious. Nothing? Nothing okay. at all. Yep, they haven't done anything on that side. So now let's let's push this frame out here and let's take a look over here. This okay, so they're they're all over it, but they're not doing anything to it just yet. It looks like they may be starting to build up the foundation a little bit. Maybe not. Okay, so we'll just keep this over here. I'm gonna slide this over. I'm praying that that abnormality is over here. And it's not <laughs> down below. It's not down below. Worst case scenario, we get an extra inspection in. Yeah, that'll be the worst. All right, so I'm not seeing anything there. This is you're gonna see in this frame right here is one of our more developed frames from the bottom that we put up on top last night. And uh, you're gonna see a lot of activity here and a very large frame, heavy. So pull this one up very nicely. Get your fingers locked underneath it. And you can see right here, we've got all kinds of brood, all kinds of honey. I do not see the queen on here at all. I looked on this other side here too. And I do not see her over on this side. I do see a drone cell over here, uh, but that is it. I see a lot of capped honey. I see a lot of brood and a lot of fresh nectar that's stored. So we'll stick this one back in here now. You can come in closer when I'm uh, looking at these. I just want to make sure it stays in focus. As long as you're 12 inches, you'll be okay. Okay. Okay, so now let's pull this empty frame out here. Take a look at this. I got bees all over this frame over here, so hopefully they're getting ready to start working this frame right here too. And not so much on that side, but if you look on this side, oh boy, you can see they're all over here. So I think they're getting ready. I got a guard bee flying around my head. He just wants to say hi to me. So these are Italian bees that we got from uh, Jarrett Apiaries up in uh, North Georgia. And uh, let's see here. I got I got a bee. I can't really shove this apart here because I got a bee with his rear end right in between the frame there so anyway okay I'm gonna pull this this frame out here and this one is one of those frames where they've really been like building outwards because I guess the reason is is I have not been putting the frames close enough together so I need to put them closer together so here we go we're gonna lift this frame out here And I'm going to tell you, this is a heavy frame right here. And you can see right there, it's loaded with honey, very thick honey, brood on, on this side, all kinds of fresh nectar on this side. I see a drone cell over here. Uh, if we look on this side over here, 
Uh, I see all kinds of honey, nectar, brood, uh, mostly honey and brood and nectar. That's it. Capped honey. So it's all good signs. The hive looks uh, very, very healthy. Um, very happy. I see all kinds of activity down below here right now in the hive. I'm going to set this down very gently. I'm going to try and push this back together, but uh, <laughs> you know, the thing is, is when you push this together, you're like so afraid that you're pinching bees in there in between the honey and the frames. And I want to be nice to these guys, but uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Know what to do there's too many of them to control every single movement that they make so uh, we just do the best we can I guess that's what we do so we'll just try to keep it together all right so I don't see any activity over here nothing that we got to worry about over here so at this point we can start sliding all these frames back this way and then once we get them all back this way we're gonna add back in those two other frames that we have And go into the bottom box. And go into the bottom <laughs> box, exactly. So let me put these two frames back in, and you can see most of the bees have abandoned these two frames right here, so we'll just stick these back in here, like so. All right, and I'm sure that our queen is in the bottom down here. Let's stick this empty frame up here. And we're beginner beekeepers here, so if any of you have any comments or anything like that, tips that would help us out as long as you're nice in that, uh, then uh, go ahead and leave us a comment in the, in the section below, and uh, we'd be happy to answer back and, and take your advice and, and learn from you. Like I said, we're new to this, so... Uh, we're two and a half weeks in. Just two and a half weeks in. Uh, the, the way we taught ourselves was we watched your YouTube videos, all you beekeepers out there. Um, we watched your your videos in that uh, Vino Farms. We watched you from front to back, all everything you ever did, including your sourdough. And we don't even eat bread, so uh, that was nice. We were sorry to hear about your hive uh, uh, dying. Um, we don't expect that to happen down here because we stay pretty warm down here all year long. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lift this box off. I'm gonna set it over here on top of this honey super box, and then uh, we'll do a quick inspection on the bottom. I got to get that abnormality scraped off and then we'll go from there. I'm gonna give these bees just a little bit of smoke and see if I can get them to, uh, to go down below a little bit. The wind is uh, variable today, as you can see. So uh, we're just uh, seeing what we can do here. have a bee caught in here and that's why uh, these bees are gathering here so much. Do you think that since we just did the checkerboarding yesterday it would be a good idea or do you think it's okay if we switch the top box and the bottom box? No we don't do that. Okay. We don't switch the top and the bottom. Just gonna set this here for right now. And that will stay right there. We're gonna go in here. There's our horses. All right, and we're going to uh, look in here and try to find where that abnormality is on that uh, one frame. And maybe we'll get another look at Queen Mary. I can tell you right now, it's not on the, any of these outside frames. These outside frames are brand new to Those the Those are the hive. new ones. We just literally added these. So they're brand new. Come on, get your legs out of there. I'm trying to be gentle with this bee down there in the frame. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's look out this way. And I'm going to remove this frame right here because I know there's nothing there. Just got a couple of bees checking it out. That's it. All right, 
right, so we'll set this frame right here. We'll set this frame here, right here. is it. It's going to be on this side. Okay, I'll come around. So, I'm going to pull this away. I'm going to set the smoker down here. And you'll see when I pick this up, this long vertical tube right over here on this side. We didn't know what it was. We thought it was something special. Yeah, we didn't know if it was they were putting a queen thing in there or what. But you can see that tube right there. And I've got all kinds of capped honey and nectar and everything in here. And we're being told to go ahead and pull that out of there, even though I'm seeing some, uh, I'm seeing some, uh, chrome cells in there. It well, looks but like. if you look at it, they, they're not formed beautifully. No, they're not. But I can guarantee you there is honey in there. Okay. And, uh, this hive is going to be very, very active here in just a second. Uh, it will get extremely active because you don't mess with their honey. Okay, let's see here. Let me do this. I'm How can I to, help you? Well, I'm just trying to balance here because I want to I want to be able to collect this here after mm -hmm. I scrape it off. Should we smoke the bees off of it? Let's just cut into it a little bit. Let's see what happens. Okay. Ooh, it's sticky. Yep, and I see larva in here. If we were in Thailand, we could eat this. <laughs> yep, there's all Ooh. kinds of larva in here. Holy moly. Oh my goodness. And the bees are not liking this at all. Ugh. We got honey all up in here. And I'm gonna scrape this off of here. I just accidentally smashed a bee. I'm, I'm just... gonna tell you something. We've watched conservatively 200 hours of YouTube tutorials, I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, we have never, never seen where we had to go in here and scrape this out like this, but uh, we were told that if we didn't do this, that the bees would just continue on building this abnormally like this and, and that that wouldn't be a good thing. So here we are, we're gonna go ahead and get this, this brood out of here, this larva. It's huge. Um, get this out of here. Get this cleaned up. Let the bees uh, work through the night, and they'll they'll finish cleaning it up for us. Um, and we'll go from there. I'm really interested to see their repair job in about a week. Yeah, we'll come back in about a week and and see what they've done in here. But uh, we've just all we've tried to do here is just clean that up a little bit. Uh, so that they, uh, so that they uh, don't build this tube like this. So I'm ready to stick this back in here. I don't want to stay in here longer than I have to. Um, they've got a lot of work that they've got to do now. So uh, I really messed up their hive and um, killed a couple of bees in the process. But um, I think it was necessary to get that off of there. And then I can get these frames pushed back together the way they're supposed to be. We'll go in here real quick and we'll just see if we can see the queen real quick for you all. It really is a learning process. Now this was a brand new frame that we just stuck in here yesterday. And uh, I'll show you what all they've done. Whew. So you can see they're already on here going crazy right now. Uh, they're getting ready to build up the comb right here and they're just going crazy. So our bee population is exploding in this hive, which is exactly why 
we said we need to, uh, we definitely have to get that uh, second brood box on there. So that's why we did that. Now right now I'm just trying to get these two frames back together here so that uh, they don't do that weird build again where they push everything way out. Okay, now I'm gonna pick this up on this side, down at the bottom, there's all kinds of drone cells down here. So um, that was what was concerning to us. We thought maybe we were in the process of having uh, what we call a, a swarm. Uh, being so new to this, we really didn't know if that was the case or not, but we didn't want to take any chances and we had the capability to add a second box, so that's what we did. So I'm gonna lift this up. I gotta be really careful I don't uh, smash the queen or anything. And uh, let's see if we can see her. I do not see her on this side right now. Do you see her on that side? I'm looking. It's gonna be very long. Uh, yes, I don't see her. Do Is not. this the frame she was on yesterday though? Yeah, this would be the frame she would be on, yes. Uh, I have a quick question. Yes. Go ahead. Look right up in here. That's honey. Mm, I think not. Do you think it's okay if I shoo them a little bit? Look at that. Well, right there? Yes. It's empty on the bottom. Yeah, I think that's okay. If anyone can write in and tell us what that is, we yeah, sure would nice. appreciate it. It almost looks like they were trying to do a queen cell, but... I must have some honey on my gloves because they're over here trying to clean up my gloves. <laughs> I'm looking for the queen on this side. I'm not seeing her, but you can see our bee population is very strong in this hive. Extremely strong. All right, so I'm going to lower this back in and we're going to start putting, going through the process of putting this hive all back together again. Should we check the other frames or are they empty? No, we're, they're empty. Okay. They're all empty, so we're just going to go ahead and push this all back together. And uh, What about cleaning the top sides of these so that they can also be squished tighter? Well, we can do that. I think that was also a recommendation. Okay, so let's, let's come along here and let's... let's uh, should we smoke them? Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and smoke them here. Okay. Just to get them down while you're scraping the top. Oh, look at the pollen. Look at that. Yeah, up here. Yeah. Mm. So all the pollen. Okay, so now we're going to push these back together like this. I was actually talking about scraping onto the wood. No, I'm okay. not going to do that. I am going to get this back this way. I think as long as those wooden tabs on the sides touch one another, I think that's kind of the goal. The problem is, is I've let this go for so long like this. So right now, if I push this in too much, I am literally trapping bees right in here. Okay. So uh, I don't want to kill them. I want them to have enough room to walk between. So I think I've built my own little dungeon there and I've just got to live with my dungeon. He's all back in here. So there's the full eight there.
take this. I believe this one actually like this. 